Hey, what's going on, everybody? First and foremost, this was a great idea, and I wouldn't have had this idea without Anonymous Tom. Anonymous Tom has been great for not only my channel, but uh, you know, for the community of Flight Simulator, which everybody loves. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Um, thanks for always contributing, and these, these ideas are great, and you're only making everything better each day. I've never heard you say anything negative, um, so thanks a lot, man, for, for, for doing this, and, and please keep up the great work, dude. Um, I'm going to go over really fast so that I don't make this a 20-minute video of planes that I have. This is my entire hangar, and that also planes that really quick, I'm going to say buy it, a little bit of why and why I wouldn't buy it, okay? I will tell you that I don't have some of Demos's planes downloaded, like the MiG-29 and uh, the Griffin. I just, I'm tight on memory, and uh, I, I just simply wasn't happy with the way those, I never flew them, okay, guys? Um, so I don't want to put anybody down, but uh, I also don't have the Bredock F-22. There's, I'll never fly that again, because the top mock, okay? So there's a, those are a few uh, airplanes that I don't have. Bottom line, ATR absolutely 100 percent buy this if you can it's a great airplane these are the special edition ones right here that just came out recently it's a classic a legendary plane beautiful plane love how it flies f-117 absolutely you know it's been a while since i bought some of these so i can't tell you the price if you can get a decent price on the f-117 it's an absolute legend of course i'm biased i'm an air force veteran that's an air force plane and uh it's going to be updated soon i hear the l-39 i just flew and I can't tell you to go out and buy this, guys. If it's on sale for $5, then maybe. This is the Reno pack. And uh, it's fun to fly a couple times a year. It's not the best aircraft, all right? Absolutely not on this boat. I think that came for free. Airbus A310's free. The 318 I really do like. The problem is the last update is making it hollow. I haven't flown it in a while, and it pisses me off. Because when they last updated, they made it really, really good. But it's now unflyable to me almost because when you zoom out, the whole entire airplane is hollow. They really, really need to fix that. Okay. The A320 that came with the game is phenomenal. That's free. So I'm not going to really go into what's free. There's no point. A321 is an absolute 100% buy. I don't have any problems with this whatsoever. It comes with one, two, three, four variants. Um, it has no none of the hollow air issues. I just love the plane. It's got a decent cabin. Sounds pretty good. Like it. Uh, the Antonov An-225 is an absolute, absolute yes. Buy it the year before yesteryear. It's amazing. Um, they've only made it better. It has smoke now from the engines. A great plane. A legend. Antonov An-2, absolutely buy it. It's a beautiful thing. I really, really like it. The way it sounds, everything about it comes with floats and a ski version. Really, really cool, classic plane, reasonable for the price as well. Astro One. Um, I like this thing, guys. I haven't flown it too much. Again, I got a lot of planes. But yes, I would recommend this. It's really cool. It's going to offer you something that no other plane, uh, so to speak, or flying uh, vehicle has in the game. Uh, this Pit Special, I, I can't tell you if I bought that or not. I'm not going to speak on that. Um, I don't have a problem with them. I haven't flown them in a long time. Here's the regular uh, ATRs. Love them both. They're amazing. I already talked about that. Beechcraft Model 17 is a no-brainer. A classic plane. I think it was $14.99. Flies absolutely flawlessly. I love that. Beechcraft, uh, I can't remember what this one's called. D18. I'm just going to call it right now. So that's what it says. Um, this is a great absolute must-have addition for propeller planes. I love it. It's great. Bell 407 came with the game. The P-40B Tomahawk uh, it, it, by Big Radials, it's okay. Um, it has a little bit of some issues. It's not the best sounding. I do like the way it looks. It fly, it's a little bit difficult to fly, in my opinion. Um, so I would say if it's on a great sale, okay? That's how I feel about that. The Boeing 307 I just bought, I really, really like this one. It only comes with four liveries. I'm big on liveries, guys. Some people aren't. I am. Uh, that'd be the only weakness about that. Other than that, it's a really, really, really cool plan. I'm enjoying that a lot at $15. $747 came with the game. I really like it. These 767s by uh, Captain Sim. You know, the last thing I ever want to be is a hypocrite. I've slammed Captain Sim a lot, guys. So I need to be clear about that before I speak on it. Having said that, I really, really like these. Okay? If you're looking for study level, don't waste your time. This is not even close to study level. But they're different enough at $20 a piece. I bought some liveries for each one. 
Um, if you bought a 767, you really don't need the 777. That's my opinion. But yeah, I really do like them, guys. And I'm an airline fanatic. Airliners, I love them. So at $20, I bought both of these. And I bought extra liveries from, from them. Uh, I would recommend them. Bottom line, after having bought them, if you like airliners. But wait, you know, always wait for a sale. I hear we're coming up with one on Friday. Uh, the 747, that's just liveries that I bought. Boeing F-18 Classic came with the game. The T-45C, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'd buy it. It's a quality plane. It can launch and land with the hook. It's got built-in software for that, which is always a plus. Comes with good liveries. It flies a lot better than it did, guys. It's been recently updated. The B-52 is an absolute disgrace. Uh, damn, I fly it as much as I can. Again, Air Force, I love it. I can't recommend it, man. It's not good. You know, I do what I can after I spent the damn money. It's no good. I'm going to leave it at that. CJ Simulations Typhoon is an absolute legend. One of the best sounding jets in the game. Phenomenal. Not a whole lot more to say. Flies great. Flies different. Beautiful aircraft. Definitely get it. The Vision Jet G2 is amazing. Recently bought that this month, or if not last. It was on sale. Um, it does have issues with black screens, though, and uh, I think that's after the recent update. A lot of times in these updates, the plane becomes better and worse. So this Corvette C8 is an embarrassment. They should give everybody their money back. It doesn't work, okay? Um, at least make it work and update it for us to spend the money on it. I own that car in real life, not to bore everybody, so I really looked forward to driving it in the game, and you, you really can't, dude. It's completely broken and inoperable. The 206 B3 by Cowan Sim is it's a really good helicopter. You really probably only need one of Cowan Sims, um, if not two. And I'll go over the other one of the uh, the Airwolf, the 222. But a good a good a good helicopter, guys. Don't get me wrong. Here it is. The Cowan Sim. Like you know what? All these are good. They just tend to fly very similar to the next. If I had to pick one Cowan Sim helicopter, it's by far the 222B. This is Airwolf, bro. It's a must have. You got to do it. Um, none of these I bought. None of these I bought. Okay, the next is the P-40F Warhawk. Uh, I like this one, guys. This is a pretty decent one. Um, it, it sounds pretty decent. It smokes. You used to be able to take the engines off uh, covers and look at them, and it was cool. You can't do that anymore. But I do like the Curtis PF-40 Warhawk. The Harrier is an absolute must-buy. I do want DC Designs to refine the hovering. I, I they, the Hovering is supposed to be hard in these. But they've made it a little too hard. In my opinion, it, you can watch the videos of real pilots. They're not swaying back and forth to that level. It's extremely challenging now, which adds to the fun. But I think they need to refine it just a little bit. But a uh, definitely must have. The DC Designs Concord really doesn't have that good of a reputation on the game. I personally really, really like it. Yes, they can make the cockpit better. But this is a legend, and I think they did a good job, man. That's my opinion. I know it's expensive. Uh, DC Designs F-14, an absolute no-brainer. You have got to get this. If you like carrier operations, there's nothing better. That's the best carrier plane in the game, in my opinion. DC Designs F-15, an absolute must. Air Force, uh, beautiful. It works really good. They, they need to recenter uh, on the external camera because it's a little off to the left. But other than that... Um, and when you fly the E, look at watch my video. You have to turn off the screens inside to get good frame rates. F-15, legendary. There's another DC Designs. The DC Designs Stearman, great plane. Really like it. The only reason I bought that is for some weird coding reason, per se. You have to have the DC Designs Stearman to have smoke with the F-16, okay? If you do not have the DC Designs Stearman, you cannot have smoke with the F-16. I have no idea why. It seems bullshit, but that's what it is. Uh, these gliders are cool. I got to do more of them. They were free, obviously. I bought the Kodiak for $10. It's an absolute beautiful aircraft. Difficult to start up. You have to start it up in a, in a right fashion or it won't work, but I do like that. The TBM 930 came with the game. It's a great plane. Demos A10, it, it, it's fun, guys. I think it's good value. I think they did a pretty good job. Um, you know, I, I got to speak the truth for my loyal subscribers. It's never going to touch what DC Designs does. Uh, it, it is what it is, guys. At this point, Demos is not on the DC Designs level, but it's a good A-10 and uh, better than having nothing. I don't know when the hell we'll have the DC Designs one. 
Uh, free, free. DC3 was free. I like that. I'm going to fly that today, actually. The Embraer ERJ 170 and 175. I just had a negative hater today speak that it's trash. It isn't trash, bro. It's $10. And it has features that no other plane does. It has a full stewardess, uh, you know, recording. I love the plane. If it was 40 hell no. It's $10. A great addition, guys. That's a great addition. Dark Star's amazing. I got to fly that more. That's free. The Double Ender I just bought. This plane is good, guys. You know, Got Friends is just on point. They're just like, you know, quality, like to see DC Designs. It's really just a matter of what they want to make, guys. Um, it, it's a great company, and that thing flies so much, so great. Uh, massive details in it. Definitely, uh, definitely recommend that. Uh, Got Friends Mini 500, I call as the finest helicopter in the entire game. Just flew it. Great helicopter. Beautiful. Uh, free, free. The Flight Replicas Curtis P40N, I really like. They copied the sound from the P51 Mustang. So that's the only issue with that. But I really do like this plane. I think its model is great. They also have this air show one. It doesn't fly right. I don't know what the hell it's for. But uh, it's it's good, man. It's good. The Flying Iron BF-109 is uh, legendary. It's just extremely challenging, guys. Not easy. Uh, but I got to recommend that thing, man. It is fun. Once you get it up in the air, it's fun. The F-6F Hellcat is a damn near 5 out of 5. It's absolutely flawless, perfect. Carrier capability software, folds wings, it's amazing. Spitfire, flawless, damn near perfect now. Almost a 5 rating, maybe it is. Definitely recommend all three of those. Spitfire's uh, clipped version. The Ford Tri-Motor, I believe we all got for free. So uh, if you didn't get that, I, I hope you guys did. I'll fly that more, it's a pretty decent plane. Uh, the GBR3 Special, I do like. I need to fly the stump planes more. I have fun with that one. The Grumman F-14D, its last uh, upgrade is really good, guys. Uh, this is a strong aircraft now. I raged when I bought this. It was almost $40, and it had some problems. It still does, but it's a, its a pretty unique airplane. I'd like to fly it more. We need more liveries. It only has five. I requested that a couple months ago. But, yeah, I like it. Um, it's expensive, though. I think it was 37 I don't know how much it is now, but I do like it. Uh, free. Gimbal's free. The Hughes Aircraft Hercules H4 is really cool. Um, I, I do like this plane. And, uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a classic. Moving on. The Jetpack guy, I don't fly a lot, guys. That's up to you. It's not a traditional aircraft. And it does fly weird. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, but it, it can be fun. The F-35s. Um, I really, really, really like them. They just don't fly like the real F-35. I, I mean, I've come to that conclusion. Having said that, they're great. I just made a video today, man. You get the F-35A, F-35B, STOVL, and uh, the C is carrier-capable, both launching and landing. Yeah, it's a good deal. You get three of them, and I, I really like it. It just needs a flight model revamp to fly like the real thing. The real thing is almost an F-22, guys. Moving forward, the, K the KA-10. Get this for the carriers alone, guys. I've spoken all the time about that. Get the KA-10 so that you can get all the carriers that it comes with. Great value. This constellation, bro, set the standard. It set a whole new standard in, as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing that I don't like about this. It does demand a lot of frame rates. I'm not having an issue right now. Uh, it's got failure capability that no other plane comes close to. It sounds great. comes with the most amazing liveries I've ever seen. Just an absolute great buy. And that that's $50, bro. But I'm going to tell you to go ahead and spend the 50 on that. It is a phenomenal plane. Nothing looks as cool as it. A definitely no-brainer. No Dude, I'm not going to say the name of this. I need to get my SHIT together and learn the name of these. Uh, it's just pure laziness on my behalf. Dude, the Laticor, okay? The Laticor, all right? You know what I mean? It's a, it's a good plane, guys. Really like this. They did a great job. $15 value is a steal on that. A great plane. The Lear fan is good. I can't remember how much it is. Um, it flies a little stiff, just a little stiff, but it's cool, man, for a private jet. I do like it. The C-130, I've got so much heat for, and I could care less because I tell the truth. Uh, from the outside, it doesn't have a cabin, and this is a Captain Sim deal, and, and that's a shame. He should have built a cabin. Just give us a decent one, okay? 
Um, from the outside, it looks great, and I do like the plane, man. Uh, I'm going to tell the truth. I'll get, I've got heat before. I'll get it again, and I care less. I'm just going to tell the truth. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if I can tell you to go buy it. It's, it doesn't have a cabin, but I love the C-130, okay? Uh, this BF-108 is a good plane. It's a little quirky on the takeoff, and it flies. It, it's not very maneuverable, but it's not supposed to be. I think they did a really good job on it. I do like it. Would like to fly more. Miltec Simulations Osprey is an absolute beast. You have got to get this. Watch my tutorials on it. Um, an absolute legendary plane. It's just beautiful, guys. The Milviz Corsair is my absolute number one warbird at the moment. That is the most beautiful warbird ever built, in my opinion. It's gorgeous, guys. And it's saying a lot because I love the Hellcat BF-109, Spitfire, all of the above. That's my favorite one. It is costly, I believe, at $39. Um, I love that thing, man. Absolutely great. The P-51 Mustang is really good. Done, Really well done. Uh, you get a bunch of these if you buy the pack. It's just extraordinarily hard to take off on, guys. So it can be defeating. I tend to pick another plane because it's so hard to take off on. And uh, I don't think it should be that hard. I watch these things fly in real life, and they, they don't squiggle all over before they take off. So I'm sure it's hard, but they need to revamp that, in my opinion. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different models of it. The Extol is a phenomenal, phenomenal plane. It's great. I really, really enjoy this plane. It's got a crop dusting version. It's amazing, guys. Definitely pick it up. Flies really cool. Sounds great. The Politis PC-21 is a legendary plane, guys. This thing, I didn't buy it for a while because there's two versions of it. If you're going to buy a plane and you want a freaking performance, buy the Politis PC-21. It is amazing. It's a monster. A great plane. All these were free. Uh, the F-16 DC designs. Um, I, I've went back and forth. I, I still think it's the best jet. It, it, it's probably my all-time favorite, guys. Um, I've went back and forth a lot of times, kind of the theme of the month. If I had to pick one plane in the entire game that I had to fly, it would be the F-16 by DC, DC Designs. That It's just absolutely great, man. Uh, everything about it. The sound's amazing. Sound is so important, guys. The DC Designs F-16 is the finest, man. Absolute legend. All these were free. All these were free. F-22 by Top Mock, bro. A big deal, guys. I don't fly the non uh, the, the fly-by-wire version because you can do the thrust vectoring in both. If you fly the fly-by-wire version, um, it, it, you can't do the showcase camera. It's, it's not coded for it for some reason. I fly the non-FBW fly-by-wire, and I can still do all the thrust moving. It's just the exact opposite on the controls. Now... I will say they recently updated it, and a lot of times this like there's like a pilot's head that pops out of the cockpit. They really need to update it again. They did that so that it would work flawlessly on the Xbox, but it's it's defeating its own purpose. It doesn't happen every time, but a lot of times there's like this thing that pops out of the cockpit, and they need to fix that. C-160 is a legendary plane. Dude, C-160, you have got to get. If you own this game, the C-160 is at the top of the list. Flares fuel dumping it's an incredible incredible perfect machine absolutely love it dhc2 beaver i really really like too guys i believe we got that for free i got extra liveries for it uh the s bach 342 it's really really good i just don't fly it a lot i got a lot of planes guys i gotta fly that more it's definitely worth it uh this this frank i think this is a demos i can't recall uh, it's actually really good, guys. It's fast, maneuverable. I really enjoy that one. The Zenith I got for like three bucks. Me and my man uh, Tim. Uh, we uh, we like this plane, guys. It can go, and it's a very very cheap. Gold Coast Tim, uh, my main guy. And then not last but not least is the DHC Four Caribou, guys. I really really like this plane. It's good. I gotta fly it more. So. That is the extent of my hanger, guys. I tried to do this under 20 minutes, and I'm right at that mark. Uh, feel free in the comments below to ask, and I do my absolute best to reply to everybody, okay? I don't want anybody feeling left out on the channel or anything like that. 
I do get a massive amount of comments every day. I do my best, all right? But that's my hanger, guys. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, right, uh, you know. And if any of you guys have any YouTube channels, I'd be interested to see your hangers as well, all right? Make it a great day, and we'll talk soon. Later.